Hey Aries, welcome to your July monthly reading. This is a collective reading, so it will not resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate with you, I encourage you to check your sun, moon and rising sign video on my channel as you may be sitting in that energy. Alternatively, you can also click the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Therese, where I sell online personal readings all over the world through. Okay, let's jump into it. Aries energy for July. Hmm, they barely rolled. Aries, the star sign we have around you, lurking around you, this could be in your birth chart or someone that you are dealing with, is the star sign of Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could have Scorpio strong in your birth chart, but there is strong Scorpio energy around you, Aries. The number that is around you at the moment is the number eight. Eight stands for abundance. Eight is lots of money. Financial abundance is on its way to you. You are aligned right now. You are aligned with the money that you desire. So pay attention to what you're manifesting for. Why is this still making noise? There. Okay. And then... The planet that is backing you, the planet's energy that is around you, Aries, is the planet of Mars. Mars stands for self-projection, ambition, and impulse. There's a lot of masculine energy around you, Aries. Okay, jumping straight into the cards for March for you, we have the temperance energy, which is Sagittarius energy. It is all about balance, finding the middle path having patience, waiting for divine guidance, waiting for the divine to step in and to fully direct where you're supposed to be going. This is, um, yeah, very much um, an awakening. You're reflecting on things from the past. You're having an awakening. You're reckoning an old version of yourself and you're finding balance within a new version of yourself and with a new version of your life. So you're, you've gone through change and now you're past change and now you're calming everything down. Aries, not so much Aries energy. We usually go, go, go. But this is very much your life coming to a more balanced, peaceful place. In the middle of July, Aries, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is another change, an inevitable change. An inevitable cycle is finishing again. Um, but this time you're ready for it. You're listening to the truth of your making head over heart decisions and knowing that change has actually benefited you in the past. So the change that's coming may benefit you through July a lot. This change is going to benefit you. You're hearing the truth. You're not used to hearing the truth. And this time you really are hearing the truth about something. Okay, at the end of July, we have the energy of the Seven of Pentacles which is hard work, perseverance, something you've been really working for by loving yourself, by nurturing yourself, by investing in yourself is growing and it is a relationship. This could be with many signs because you've had them pop up, but it could definitely be with um, a Gemini because the lovers is Gemini, but it does not have to be. There is a partnership that you've worked on or something that you you've either worked on yourself because it looks like you've done it alone there's something you've done a lot of self-work and it's time for you to be aligning with your divine counterpart the surprising thing that will happen to you in july is that there is a huge breakthrough with somebody that loves you incredibly much they have a lot of compassion they have a lot of control and there's a huge breakthrough July is going to be a very shocking soulmate twin fame divine connection month for you because there's going to be a lot of things and it's going to be like, wow, 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 when it comes to love. Okay, the advice for Aries is laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. You are talented and amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. 
don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time and you know why. It's not everyone else's fault, it's yours. You are a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Okay, and what somebody is thinking about Aries through the month of July. Somebody who's energetically connected to you can be a lover, a friend, or a past lover, but it's somebody who thinks about you a lot. What they're thinking and what they won't say is... I knew exactly what I was doing. We both know I am not the one for you. Sorry, I hate my cards being messy. My life is not as together as it seems. I know that I crossed the line with you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I'm going to read that one more time. What somebody is thinking about Aries through the month of July is... I knew exactly what I was doing. We both know I am not the one for you. My life is not as together as it seems. I know that I crossed the line with you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. And then on the end here, we have your love life and romance energy. And what's coming through for that is getting to know each other as you reveal your inner selves to each other your bond deepens so you need to go deep with someone Aries. calling in your soulmate your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together start fantasizing about the love that you want so that it comes to you now stay optimistic positive thinking and faith will bring you romance don't be negative because you will block love Okay, Aries, please like and subscribe because it really helps my channel. If you did want to book a personal reading, you can check out my Instagram, Chelsea Trees, which is in the description box below, and we can book you in a personal reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Aries. Sending you so much love and light and enjoy the month of July. I'll see you next month.